All right, it's time for Hack That Mask. Today's video was inspired by the Josh Rosebrook Cacao Antioxidant Mask. This mask came in the Beauty Heroes five year anniversary September box. It is lovely. This video is going to be part appreciation for the beauty and elegance of this mask, part budget, budget mask video. Now, if you can afford to spring for the Beauty Heroes box, like a one-time box, or if you can afford to purchase this mask in the travel size at 0.75 fluid ounces for $38, the full size is 1.5 for $65, um, then I highly recommend this as a wonderful, beautiful treatment masks. Um, however, sometimes you gotta pay your car payment <laughs> or your registration and your kids' extra school activities all fall in the same pay period. Sometimes you've got to um, pay your medical bills. Sometimes you just can't afford beautiful, luxurious, um, non-necessary skincare. So first up, let's really quick jump into the beauty of this mask and then we'll break down how we're gonna hack it. This mask does not contain any clay, even though it has a clay-like texture. It, that is all beautiful cacao right there. That's not clay, that's cacao. It has some water, it has some vinegar, and then it has some beautiful oils. It has baobab, it has avocado, it has evening primrose, it has jojoba, it has grapeseed. It has a beautiful fatty acid blend of oils. Now when we go to hack that, we're not gonna put a ton of oils in there. We're only gonna put one. However, that's one of the reasons this is like a beautiful mask. It's one, one of the ones that I would spend money on because it's very well thought out and it's very luxurious feeling on the skin as well as very smart in the nutrients that it's pr trying to provide your skin. Now, it also contains glycerin. What's a beautiful, hydrating, inexpensive, available at Whole Foods ingredient? Glycerin! So we have cacao, we have a little vinegar and water, we have some beautiful oils, and uh, we have glycerin. Uh, now the next thing that he has, take a peek right here, is quite a bit of herbs. Now that's one of the things that sets Josh Rosebrook apart compared to a lot of other formulators are these, um, these beautiful herb infusions that he makes and they're all done in house. So he's got rose petal, turmeric, goji berry, dandelion, eye bright, rosemary, calendula, rose hips, hawthorn berry, and the list goes on and on and on. There's quite a bit of those, but they're all appearing in very small increments, meaning that for a one-time mask, um, it's going to provide benefits, but can you still get a great treatment mask from just what we're gonna do? Yes. Does that make his math worth the price? Definitely. Um, it's just like I said, where you're at in life right now. So let's go and hack this math. All right, here we go. So really quick, let's take a peek at the Josh Rosebrook texture, shall we? Okay, we have a very smooth, very beautiful texture to that mask. So let's take a little bit of our cacao powder. You wanna start with maybe a tablespoon of cacao powder. Now, like I said, the next thing in Josh Rosebrook's masks is a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of water. So we're gonna just lightly wet our cacao. Because I don't need vinegar on my skin per se, because I have dry skin, um, and vinegar you might want to use for more of a toning properties. Um, he also has witch hazel in there, but I'm going to add in a little aloe vera gel. It'll give the mask a little density, but it'll also provide a little bit of that toning effect that you get from um, aloe vera's salicylic acid. Now at this point you want a texture that almost feels a little light on water because we're gonna add in oil and glycerin and we don't want it to be too loose. Let's check our texture. See, it's already getting kind of soft, but let's check our texture. We're almost there to um, similar in, in uh, texture. So I'm gonna take a little bit of sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is great because it has, 
It's a very high in linoleic acid. Um, it's really inexpensive. It's also high in vitamin E and it makes the skin feel so smooth. It's got a really gorgeous emollient feel to it. And like I said, it's just super inexpensive. Then we're gonna take some um, glycerin. This brand you can find at Whole Foods. Uh, like I said, very inexpensive. We got a little crazy, but that's all right. We can always add a little bit more cacao powder in there if we need to make it a little bit more dense. So just to recap really quick, what we've added is cacao, water, glycerin, a little bit of aloe vera gel, some sunflower oil, and then I've got a little kicker here, okay? If you're wanting to really feel fancy, I'm gonna add in a little bit of this. This is the Wallata Light Nourishing Cream. It has a lot of herbal infusion in it that the Wallata team does. Um, it also has a pretty dense emollient, hydrating feel to it um, without being too much. And it's just gonna make our mask so gorgeous when we go to spread it. All right, let's look at our texture here. It got a little bit thin, so if we wanted to, we could add a little bit more cacao, but I'm gonna leave it like that. What would a masking video be without an extreme close-up? Let's take our homemade version of Hack the Mask. Goes on super smooth. That Walata lotion gives it such a nice smell. That Walata lotion's like 10 bucks for that whole one ounce. Now, one of the things about the Josh Rosebrook mask is that, you know, they call it the cacao an antioxidant mask, is that the cacao is supposed to increase the circulation, um, which I find that just masks of this nature do in general. And now, I wanna show you in comparison for the texture, because this is a hack the mask, you might actually end up preferring um, your own homemade version because it goes on so smooth and you can even increase the hydration. Um, also in your own homemade version because you're upping, you're adding just a little bit extra of a humectant in there, yours, um, it's, it's not, it's going to go on smoother and then it's probably not going to dry as easily because we added quite a bit of nourishing ingredients in there. Now, because we have the beautiful oils and we have a little bit of lotion and glycerin and aloe, I would say that you could leave this on. Um, always do a patch test with a face mask because you don't want to find out, you know, midway through that your mask has turned your face on fire. However, the one that, the version that we made um, should not do that in any way. Okay, so now like I said, we'll leave this on probably 20 to 30 minutes And one of the things that you're gonna see with antioxidants is you're gonna see probably an invigoration From the increased circulation just from masking in general um, I know a lot of people have reported that this reduces redness in their skin cacao is really good for that um, And uh, this is one of those masks you want to just do repeatedly once every two weeks, once a month, because that cacao um, really is nourishing for the skin. Anyway, did you like Hack the Mask? What's your favorite DIY? Thanks for watching and I'll see you, maybe I'll see you on Friday. I don't know if I can get my act together. I would love to post two videos a week, but it's, it's big for me.